What's up home bartenders? Summer weather is here and it's time for summer drinks. One of my favorite styles of summer drinks is the daiquiri. And what's great about the daiquiri is it's not just an awesome drink, but it's a great cocktail template. What, am I mean by, what I mean by that is that a daiquiri is essentially just two parts rum, one part sugar, one part lime. So you take that formula and you can create so many amazing uh, daiquiri variations. So I'm gonna show you today my three favorite daiquiri variations. And I've had all these before, I love these cocktails, um, but I've never compared them one against the other. So let's make them and we'll see which one Rain supreme, all right? Let's do it. If you're finding me for the first time, I make home bartending a lot easier with homemade liqueurs, syrups, and awesome cocktails. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified when I release new videos. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, we're starting off here. We've got some aged rum, Isla Scotch, maple syrup. This is Mr. Howell. So we're starting off with this uh, Havana Club Cuban Smoky Aged Rum, ounce and a half. After that, we're gonna use some Isla Scotch using Ardbeg 5. I recently did a video comparing five Ardbeg bottles, so check out that video if you're interested in Scotch tastings. All right, half an ounce of our Isla, then we want three quarter ounce of lime juice. This is a daiquiri, of course, and then half an ounce of maple syrup using a local whiskey barrel aged maple syrup here. Delicious stuff. So there it is, that's gonna be our sweetener. Give it some ice, a little flippy move, good crazy shake and serve it up in your favorite Nick and Nora. Okay, the Mr. Howell. Never a fan of lime on the rim like that, so I like to put it in afterwards. The Mr. Howell. Oh, that's so good. Rich rum, that smoke from the Isla Scotch really comes through and then the richness of the maple syrup. This is a heavier daiquiri. It's not a, not a light cocktail by any means because you got those really bold, rich flavors, but wow, so good. And I'm using the, uh, the um, Havana Club Smoky Cuban. I figured it would complement the Isla well. Really not necessary because the Isla is giving it so much smoke that um, yeah, whether you used a regular rum, it wouldn't make a difference, but use a an aged rum, it says, the recipe says gold rum, but use something that's at least gonna stand up to the Isla, because if you're using just a white rum, the Isla, <laughs> even that half ounce of Isla Scotch will bury it. So you want to still use something fairly, uh, fairly, fairly flavorful. Oh, so good. Let's move on. All right, Demerara rum, dry curacao, falernum. This is the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. Okay, so starting off with a Demerara rum, we've got full two ounces of our rum here. If you don't have Demerara, any kind of aged rum will do just fine. And then we want just a quarter ounce of orange curacao, any orange brandy liqueur, um, Grand Marnier will work just as well. After that, half an ounce of Falernum liqueur. I make my own, so check out that recipe. It'll be linked below, there we go. And then we want three quarter ounce of our lime juice. Now that's it for the ingredients for me. Some people do add a quarter ounce of simple syrup or Demerara syrup. I don't think it's needed. Um, shake it up. We're serving in a Nicanora once again. The Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. Mm. This is definitely tropical. That Falernum adds a lot of more um, additional citrus notes. There's lime, but Falernum adds more citrus and it adds some wonderful tropical island spices. Um, you got almond, you have allspice, you've got uh, just a lot going on in Falernum. Falernum is a fantastic liqueur. It's gotta be one of my favorite liqueurs because it just makes things taste tropical. So a daiquiri is already a, a great kind of uh, hot weather cocktail, but you add that Falernum, you add the rich Demerara rum, and oh God, this is good. Hmm, killer cocktail. Last one. All right, aged rum, Drambuie, Demerara syrup, and mint. This is the Daiquiri Noir. Okay, so we're gonna start by picking some mint leaves, about seven, five or seven, depending on the size. We're gonna get a little bit of Demerara syrup in there, quarter ounce, and you don't have to muddle this. I like to just give it a quick little stir with my spoon. We're gonna shake it so it'll get all the 
oils and aroma out of that mint, no problem. Half ounce of lime juice goes into this one here, followed by half ounce of Drambuie. We're kind of building this one backwards because of the because we're starting with the mint. Uh, half ounce of Drambuie, and finish it up with two ounces of aged rum. I'm using Angostura um, for this one here, but whatever rum you'd like. There we go, full two ounce pour, beauty. Okay, let's give it some ice. Flippy move, heavy metal shake, and serve in a Nick and Nora. Garnish this one with a single mint leaf. The Daiquiri Noir, black daiquiri basically. Oh wow. Mm. I mean, this one's got that mint. Mint and rum, I mean, there's a reason mojitos are so popular. Mint and rum go so well together. So you get that mint, really packs a punch. The richness, the Demerara um, syrup adds a bit of richness. You could use simple syrup, but like Demerara gives that extra richness. Uh, the Drambuie adds some nice kind of honey and spice notes to it. This is gonna be a hard rating because all of these daiquiris are fantastic. Mm. Man, that's good. All right, we made my three favorite daiquiris. Now I have to rate them and I have no idea how to do this because these are all so, so good. These are all number ones, but I, I wanna give them a rating. Um, oh my God. You know, I, I think in first place, gonna give it to the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. Um, there's, you know, it just adds, because, a daiquiri is a tropical summer drink with the falernum. This adds so many tropical tiki vibes. It elevates the daiquiri into a tiki, proper tiki drink. And for that, it's just fantastic. Oh, in second place, gonna give it to the daiquiri noir. Um, you know what, it's, <laughs> this is a hard decision, but that mint just gives it such a wonderful flavor. There's almost like a pineapple quality to it. I don't know what it is, the rum and the mint, it's, and, and the Drambuie, it's weird. It almost, like my mind was going to pineapple, even though there's no pineapple juice in there. But um, yeah, if you haven't tried the Daiquiri Noir, try it, it's such a wonderful flavor. The mint, the Drambuie, those spices, Beautiful, beautiful drink. And in third place, gonna give it to the Mr. Howell, which is weird because I love Isla Scotch. Um, and I love smoky cocktails and this one is amazing. Like I said, these are my three favorites. So they're all number ones, but I had to give them a rating. Those are the rules, my rules anyways. And so I had to give them that, that one a third place, even though it is such a good cocktail. I recommend all of these, make all of these because they're all amazing. All right, well, I wanna know what is your favorite daiquiri variation? Do you have a favorite daiquiri? Um, put it in the comments down below. If we get a bunch of them, maybe I'll do a second video where I make kind of user-suggested daiquiris. Um, yeah, so let me know. Comment down below your favorite daiquiri, and I will pick this guy here. We will see you in the next one. Cheers.